Wisconsin had happened a little bit earlier, I'm sure that the filmmakers would have had that in the film because it would have been an incredible um, ending to the story that they've been telling. And really not an ending, it's really a beginning on a chapter that I think is going to be unfolding in this country of struggle where workers and poor people reclaim on this country. Right now, where things stand is that the Wisconsin struggle has opened up the labor movement in a way that's never happened previous, in, in ways that we didn't dream. I will say this for Baltimore. Um, just several months ago, before Wisconsin, there were six of us. We called a meeting about the attacks on public workers. I'm from the Job as a Right campaign in the All People's Congress, and some of our members are public um, service workers. Um, and they are members of ASME, or, and they work at low-paying jobs, and a lot of uh, public um, sector workers make so little that they qualify for food stamps. For instance, University of Maryland employees actually can collect food stamps because their wages are so low. So, so much for greedy public employees. At any rate, we called a meeting, and it's nothing like this meeting. Only six people showed up. We sat around the table and for two hours kind of discussed and brainstormed what could we do to change the situation around. Well, that was one month before Wisconsin happened. We went to um, Annapolis. Things were at such a low level. The union was so demoralized. They were basically begging for crumbs from the legislators. Nothing could happen. But, you know, that occupation, that outpouring, what took place in Wisconsin, changed the entire question of public sector workers. And it proves that the struggle is what changes things because immediately after that, every poll indicated that people supported public workers. Well, now where it's at when I'm talking about the labor movement is, it's sort of um, a little historic. On April 4th, uh, the national uh, unions called for a day of support for the Wisconsin workers. It's also commemorating Dr. King's anniversary of the assassination of King, who was assassinated defending um, ASME workers, you know, sanitation workers fighting for their rights. And literally, he was assassinated right before the Poor People's Campaign that was depicted in this film, um, which was an incredibly earth-shaking thing that took place. And a lot of us, I'm seeing Erica, we were able to participate in Resurrection City at the time. Um, so it, to, the fact that the union movement, which never took on the civil rights movement as strongly as it should have, was able to call a national day that literally there were 1,200 or more actions all across the country, it's a major step forward. The reason why I'm saying that is today, right now, there's a, another call for solidarity that I want to make. Of those actions that took place in the port, um, in the port of Oakland, ILWU Local 10, um, their membership heeded that call to support Wisconsin workers. And there were tremendous actions all across the country, but there, there was probably, in my opinion, the most um, um, enlightening forward type of action that would show us the way in terms of tactics. I mean, Wisconsin occupying the capital is a whole tactic that we could spend about an hour talking about and why it's needed. But what they did in Oakland was to shut the port down. Nobody worked that day. Everybody stayed off the job. And basically, they had so the power of workers, which I know the United Workers in Baltimore also have done. But they did not work that day on April 4th. But as a, and at the same time, the teachers in Oakland, which is a um, majority African-American city, have been under attack, and I, hundreds of them are slated to be laid off. And they went in and occupied the Wells Fargo Bank for several hours. Uh, so these two struggles were happening simultaneously and joining together. I do want to say one thing that I thought about the film, just because I have the floor. One of the things I thought was, I thought was so great about it is it connected the issues in such a way that you know, shows you that our issues are united. And that's what I think we have to do more and more. But I say by things being connected, it's, it's not just even with this country. I think things are connected internationally. Mm -hmm. Egypt, people can't forget that right before Wisconsin, two weeks prior to Wisconsin, um, the people of Egypt showed the way in, in, um, in the square. I mean, it was 
incredible. I think all of us had our eyes watching this tremendous revolution taking place. And really, honestly, I kid you not, my gut feeling when I was in Madison, Wisconsin, was that it was the example of the Egyptian people that really is what made Madison possible, that gave people sort of breathe their courage and gave the idea because it was such a tremendous, um, tremendous event and it took, and it, it kind of went deep into people's consciousness so that I don't think Madison necessarily would have happened in the way it happened if Egypt hadn't happened.